Hello, hello, hello. Uh, so, today, new video. I want to talk about something called the symptom imperative. Uh, just another topic in this TMS world, you know, a very interesting topic. And um, let's talk about what it is and how it applies to you and uh, how it can help you. And the, uh, how, how, help, how understanding this concept will help you along in your recovery. Uh, so the symptom imperative is the idea that once the brain has determined that there is a need for physical symptoms to distract attention from threatening emotions, uh, a person will then get, can get, any number of very disparate and seemingly unrelated symptoms. Uh, so this is the symptom imperative. Uh, another word for it that I like, another a term for it that I like is psychosomatic cycling. Uh, so a person may have, and this is just as true in CFS and fibromyalgia as in anything else. Uh, I think it's particularly true with in people with CFS and fibromyalgia because we usually have even more symptoms and even weirder symptoms than other people with other forms of TMS. And uh, so sometimes what happens, for example, somebody gets the classic symptom of back pain and then maybe they, they wear like a belt and it has a placebo effect. It convinces them that now their back is safe. There's nothing to fear with respect to the back. And then they get a whole other symptom. They get a shoulder pain for some reason. Seemingly unrelated. We know what could the relationship be. Or it could just not be even pain. It could be they get fatigue. Or they get some breakout rashes on their skin. You know? And so this is the symptom imperative at work. The brain will continue to look for new avenues, for new symptoms to distract your attention with. Now... Very important, not absolutely every last symptom is TMS. Uh, so it is most prudent to check out any new and especially bothersome symptoms by a physician, by a doctor. Uh, but you have to be aware of this phenomena. And more often than not, this is what's going on. If you're getting a lot of strange symptoms, a lot of weird symptoms, or if your symptoms are cycling, you know, you have more IBS one day, you know, your stomach is bothering you, another day you have more shoulder pain, another day you have ankle pain, and other days you sleep poorly and uh, you, you feel tired, and, and it, it just seems like things are sort of, there's no rhyme or reason to it, and there's all these new symptoms, and your attention is always wandering from one to the next, to the next, you're always engaged, you're always occupied, preoccupied with, uh, you know, studying all your symptoms, trying to put them all together, work out, okay, what's going on? Look, doctor, you know, I've kept a log of all these symptoms and when they come about, this one comes about in the morning, this one on Wednesdays, this one on Thursdays, and so on. And so this will keep you preoccupied with symptoms and that's not what we want. We want to, one, make sure that we know that there's no serious disease. So we go to a doctor, we get it checked out, uh, with the awareness that some of the diagnoses that are offered as explanations for your symptoms are in fact non-diagnoses, meaning they're not based on any real physical evidence, any re real physical findings. They're just theories uh, offered as explanations that don't really help you, don't really explain anything. And you got to read Dr. Sarno's books for many of these kinds of diagnoses, like, for example, plantar fasciitis comes to mind. Uh, so, if you've been wondering, you know, how come I'm having so many symptoms, so many different symptoms, why are they morphing all the time? Well, this is a well-known phenomena in the field of psychosomatic medicine, you know, uh, people who know and study and work with psychogenic conditions. They see it all the time. And it has been documented through history, uh, starting with Freud, that indeed there's something called symptom substitution. And... If you can manage, and if you're using a, a wrong means to treat a symptom, like let's say your back hurts and there's no physical injury that would cause such a pain, 
and you ice your back or you use a belt or you use some other means to suppress the pain, what tends to happen is you'll just get some new symptom. You'll just get some new thing that will pop up or a few different things and now your attention is going to be there. So unless you treat the root cause, you're going to be chasing these symptoms indefinitely. And the root cause is threatening emotions and uh, unconscious conditioned responses. You know, So you've got to undo your fear of symptoms. Again, once you've determined that these symptoms are indeed psychosomatic, you've got to undo your fear of symptoms. You've got to move forward with your life like these symptoms are not dangerous because they're not. Once you've determined that, that it's CMS, you know this is not dangerous. You can't harm yourself. You may feel an increase in symptoms. It may be very unpleasant. You may have you may have to deal with an unpleasant subjective experience, but you're not objectively doing damage to your body. And that, with time, as you practice this, will give you the confidence to do more and more and more with less and less concern about, you know, are you, are you damaging yourself? Are you going to make yourself worse? So that's the first thing is you decondition yourself from symptoms. And the second thing, just as important, is you examine your emotions, you examine your life, you examine your difficult childhood experiences, you examine your current stressors, you work on your personality traits like perfectionism and goodism, and you deal with all that and you treat the root cause of what's going on with you rather than looking for physical remedies for this symptom, for that symptom, for the other symptom, because they'll just keep popping up. It, it'll never stop. The brain has determined, okay, there's a psychological reason why we want to initiate symptoms. And it's got so many ways. So many things are psychogenic. Uh, more things than Dr. Sarno describes in his books. And I even know that he said, you know, just in private conversation, that if he, if he were to describe every last thing, you know, that is TMS, that can be TMS, it would be a very, very long list. You know, no one would publish a book that long. But there are just so many things. Our health is so closely tied with our emotions and our stressors and things like that, you know. It's not to say that, you know, there are no physical conditions that should be treated in a different way. But we here, we're dealing, most of us here, almost all of us here, are dealing with psychogenic causes. And so... It's very easy to get distracted by all these different symptoms that keep popping up. But once you become aware of psychosomatic cycling or the symptom imperative, you understand why all these different symptoms are happening. And now you know what to do about it. So go forth and conquer. Be well. I'm continuing to get well. Every week I'm better and better. And, you know, my fear is declining and I'm improving and um, spread the word like if you like this video more people will see it you know if you've benefited from watching these videos just hit the like button you know leave your comments let's talk about it you know and see you next time